I remember vividly playing basketball with my brother when I was a lot younger. And he was much taller than I was, around six or seven years older. And, well, he's still six or seven years older than me. <laughs> and every time we'd play basketball in our backyard, the hoop would stay exactly at the highest height possible. and He wouldn't move it an inch. And as much as I would struggle being short back then, trying to get the ball in the hoop, he'd always tell me, no, we're not changing the height. Just push a little harder. And as torturous as that was, I remember looking back and thinking, no matter how far out of reach that hoop was, eventually the ball went in. Eventually, I was at least able to take a shot, and it paid off. So with this in mind, I remember prior to my first year at UGA, I had the chance to work at a small clinic down in Duluth, Georgia, known as Shifa Clinic. Shifa meaning cure in Arabic. And it's also one of the many humanitarian projects of Ikna Relief, which is a Muslim charity organization. And during my time there, I had the chance to gain a lot of clinical experience, what it was like to triage patients, to shadow physicians, conduct health fairs. And more importantly, I learned the value of service, to give back to one's community, the same community that gave me everything, to have an intimate relationship with the patients that we see every day. But even so, after years of working there and gaining experience, I felt like my role to an extent was replaceable, that it was something I could grow out of, something that another student could come by and do the same job, maybe even better. And I thought, you know, I'm a few months away from moving to Athens to my first year at UGA. Why not have a service there that can do the same thing? Around the same time, the former director of the Duluth branch um, was speaking to some local physicians out in Athens as well talking about how we can start a project the same way. And in my head, I thought, we have the resources, we have the need there, and there are also many UGA students that I'm sure would be willing to volunteer. Nonetheless, two years went by, completed my freshman year, my sophomore year, continued to drive back to Duluth to gain more experience and learn more. And then eventually, the summer of 2016, right at the end of my sophomore year, I receive a phone call from the same former director of the Duluth branch. And he mentions to me that if I can put together a PowerPoint with a list of properties where we can get started, put together some team of students that can make this get off the ground and have something to start with, then maybe he can get me in a room with physicians that would be willing to help guide this project. And I remember vividly sitting in my apartment with my roommate at the time, too. And he was with me making this PowerPoint. We're thinking, you know, this is easy enough, right? All we have to do is wake up early morning, and we were fasting, by the way, for Ramadan at the time. So we were hungry. All we have to do is wake up early morning, walk into this room full of physicians who are busy as is and are taking out extra time for us, and just walk in and give the best damn presentation we can think of. I was 19. I hadn't even done my dishes yet. <laughs> Thankfully, with the help of Ikna Relief, the physicians that we were working with, and namely the students that joined our team. That summer of 2016, Shifa Clinic Athens was born. Thereafter, we were in subsequent meetings with a lot of these professionals, and we stepped out of our comfort zone. We were no longer thinking the way that, thinking within the confines of just a student role. We were more concerned with how do we learn to speak with landlords about new properties? How do we find the best location? How do we choose the correct electronic medical record system for our clinic? And over time, as the professionals we were working with entrusted us with more responsibility, we became the only clinic of seven other nationwide active Shifa clinics that is run fully on a voluntary basis. And primarily by undergraduates, even the physicians that come on a weekly basis do so voluntarily. Although I like to think that the donuts we get on Saturdays kind of makes up for it. I don't know, that's just me. I don't know how many of you want to be paid in donuts. <laughs> exactly two years ago from today's TED event, we began with an idea on paper to now, thankfully, having over 15 providers of care, over 50 student volunteers. We've served over 80 different patients, and together, students working with professionals, we've put out over 1,700 hours of service, service into our community and over $64,000 worth of care. Yeah. 
And the hands that have been part of this project have come from diverse backgrounds. We have students from the Franklin College of Arts and Sciences that staff our clinic every week. We have students from pre-PA backgrounds that are in the triage room with our nurse every single week. Students from the Terry College of Business that have put in countless hours helping with marketing and finance. And on top of that, even the physicians are from all over Athens, from Landmark Hospital, St. Mary's, Piedmont, Athens Rheumatology, and Neurology Practices. Now, this is all great for the Athens community. This is all great for our city. But what does this mean for us volunteers? I want to rewind just a second and talk about those, those first couple meetings before the start of the clinic and how successively in each of those meetings, the physicians entrusted us with a greater responsibility. We felt capable that we could do something, that we weren't just clocking in and out of a shift, but we were concerned with how do we build a patient base? How do we incorporate more volunteers into our staff to make this system run smoothly? How do we partner with other organizations? We felt empowered early in our careers and as students. And the physicians that we were working with no longer saw us as students either. We were with them in rooms making decisions, helping our community side by side together. And over time, our relationship with these professionals sort of became a formula. We had motivated mentees that had a vision, had initiative, working with mentors that were investing their time in us, willing to guide us, together making ideas come to life right off paper. So what if Shifa Clinic Athens wasn't the exception? What if students didn't have to wait to pursue their visions? And what if professionals stopped looking for paper and numerical qualifications and invested in the competence, the ability of the younger generation? And what if, as those students, we expected more of ourselves, that we stopped limiting ourselves to our label? It's this combination of professional investment in fresh ideas, in younger people. And these young people, moving forward with their visions and their ideas for the future that can really elevate our smaller communities to the next level with new businesses, new technology, new products, you name it. In fact, we have some of UGA's very own students working in amazing research labs, working side by side with faculty and staff. So even if we are students, even if we are early in the stages of a career or an idea, or we're younger, and even if your older brother is hanging that hoop right outside of your reach, you can still take a shot. Thank you.